ready for some hot. Hi, everybody. James Sabalski for EA Sports. Some of the best squads on the planet ready to collide on the ice. Great energy both inside and outside the arena tonight as we are just moments away now from puck drop. Great energy in the barn this evening, and we are officially underway. Snapper from the slot! Oh, he stopped it! What a save on the play! And there's nothing technical about that. That is all about the will to find a way to make that save. Incredible, James. Stones him with the blocker! And that's some great pressure in the offensive end by Dreisaitl. Cut into the front of the net! Big time stop! They are really dialed in here tonight. And they'll skate it out of the zone. Shot! Long jam in front, that's broken up. That knocks him off the puck. Can't stay on his feet after that hit. The Canucks scoop it up along the boards. Takes the feed at center and moves up ahead. Quick feed to Gretzky. The Canucks take possession in the neutral zone. Here's a shot! Big time saving goal as he gets all of it with the stick! Well, he gets a great read on that wrist shot, James, and sometimes it can be difficult because with a quick release, the shot can be disguised, but he does a great job of getting in front of it and making the save. Montreal's got a hold of it against the wall. Wrist Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? You have to be quick in your crease if you want to be able to deny low zone shots. He does that perfectly as he's tight to the shooter right there. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period. We're still scoreless. Grabs control of it at the point. Grabs it in his own end. Montreal's got the puck behind the net. Here's a chance. Fires the wrist shot. Played big in the moment there. The goaltender is very aware of where that puck is in that low slot area and defends his crease by getting out, being aggressive, and taking away any of the net. of the frame. Montreal's up one zip. The Canadians win the draw and they go on the attack here in the offensive zone. Goaltender covers up and will get a face off. Montreal's up here in the first and they could easily be up by more based on what they've done offensively. Ajo's got it. Now they'll look to see what they can do with it offensively. The Canucks have it from their own end. Gaining momentum along the wing. Here's a shot! Denied by the goaltender. Slides the pass over to Matthews. Fires it! Oh, what a save by Bobrovsky! Repetitive practice has made him an expert at this shot, James. He is so... Big time save! Oh, my goodness! Well, go technique out the window. This time it's all about the competitive will to get to that puck. Coordination 
frustration as he gets the puck back. Puts it on net. Oh, what a stop on the play. Skates to the crease. Oh, what a save on the play. Whoa. He's doing absolutely it. Oh, what a save. Oh, that doesn't swing momentum in your favor. I don't know what. Incredible, James. Not only was it pure desperation and athleticism, but I'm not sure how he can stretch that far. I think he's been doing gymnastics in his off time. From the point, looks to make something happen. Oh, what a save in front! Kucherov's on the attack in the offensive zone. And that goes off the stick and off to the side. Into the corner of the attacking area. Blocked in traffic. Jostling for the puck and he loses control. Quick pass to McDavid. Robertson's taken down to the ice. We got a penalty coming up. Let's get the call here. Anytime you lose position on your opponent, this can happen. He gets the sticks out in the feet of his opponent, and guess what? He gets the tripping ball. The Canucks will have a chance to get on the power play for the first time this evening. And that'll put a bow on the first 20 minutes of action here tonight. We've got lots more still to come. Second period is just around the corner. Truthful, I'm surprised they only have two. Oh, and he just got enough of that to keep it out. 
Bobrovsky's the competitor. There's no question about it, James. In that last sequence, look at the desperation. The ability of him to find the puck and make that timely save. You'll need more than that to beat him. Bobrovsky's been doing everything he can from the perspective of a goaltender. And he's been tracking the puck. He's had his rebound control. He's doing everything to give his team an opportunity. They're not holding up their end of the bargain. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Carries it in. Poked away by Hedman. Sends it in deep. Hammers it on there. Scores! Oh, just floats it in from the wrister. Well, this long-range wrister is a testament to the new technology with the six chains. You don't need a big heater of a wind-up with these sticks. Just bear down with that bottom hand and get it to the net. The Canucks have got one back, and does this change momentum now, Cheryl? It better. They started the second period absolutely flat, James. They're getting outshot. They need to find a way to hound pucks and get some possession. Shot! Oh, we got a piece of it to keep it out. Montreal's got the puck in the corner. Oh, what a save with the glove by Bobrovsky! A player should never be left alone in the slot, but man, is the goaltender in a task here. Gets out in front of it and makes the save. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. The Canucks still trail by a goal here, but they are back into this one, only down by one. And that shot dies in traffic. Scooped up along the wall by Howe. Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. Streaking into the attacking zone for the right. Quick shot! Moves it to Hughes. Looking to make all alone. Oh, tremendous save of the play. What a score. Still, my mother always said Kale is good for you. And Kale McCarr is simply great. a good start at the morning skate, but Cheryl, this is next level what we're seeing. It really is. Through the first period, into the second tier, they just dominated. The puck has been on their stick, and when they're in the offensive zone, they're not just on the perimeter. They're finding ways to get pucks to the net. Montreal's been rewarded for their high activity in the offensive zone with lots of shots, and they lead it here in the second. Offensive zone face-off, and he wins the draw. McCarr is going to play it against the half wall. Here's a shot! Denied by the goaltender. Burns carries the puck in his own zone. And he maintains possession of the puck here. Moves it around along the half wall. What a steal in his own end. The Canadians have been stealing pucks all game. And when you intercept passes and you find ways to get your sticks in lanes, you typically find a way to possess the puck. But they've got to open it up here. This game's awfully tight. working from this area all the time in practice. A quick snapshot. Goalie can't get set to position in time, and it winds up in the back of the net. Montreal's ability to move the puck around tonight has been a treat to watch here, Cheryl. Yeah, and they really forecheck. They found a way to get the puck on their stick. They've been relentless on it. When they get it, they've had the majority of the possession time, and then when they get it, they're finding something to do with it. Not just hanging out on the perimeter, but attacking the net. Covers it up, and we'll get a stoppage in play. Montreal's dominated right from the start. Their offense clipping on all cylinders, and they lead here in the second. The Canucks come up with the defensive zone draw. Montreal's got control of it now here in the offensive end. Oh, so Montreal's now up by four. Sends the pass over. 
Matthews has multiple assists in this game, just putting on a clinic with respect to poise and patience with the puck, distributing at all angles and finding the open player. Great defensive effort with the stick. Grabs the puck in the corner. Picks up the puck. Bobrovsky's got the puck and he's going to hang on. Hughes is back on the ice. He's the captain of this team. He knows exactly what to do. A player that can settle him down, James. And he's going to have to do that if they want to climb out of this hole. Taken by Dobson. Montreal's crossed the line and on the attack. And the puck dies with the Trapper save. In front and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. Montreal's in cruise control here late in period number two as they lead by a wide margin. Ajo's won the draw here in the offensive zone. And that's a great heads up play in the offensive zone. And he denied him there. There's another consecutive save. In the game of hockey, you know that your opponent is told to attack and drive the net and really get in the eyes of the tender. And for the goaltender, it's really important. And there's a lot of... Oh, he made the save! How did he stop it? I have no idea, James. I mean, he was... Dead. in this one and still a critical 20 minutes still needs to be played go stretch your legs grab that final snack because the third period is just around the corner
matter which way you slice it, it is tough for a backup goaltender to come in. You're cold, you haven't had any movement, and it's evident there with that first goal that gets by him. Montreal's offense continues to shine here in this third period. Well, this has got to be a dream for a coach. You know that they're telling their team in the intermission to make sure they stay to business, stay to task, stay focused. And that's exactly what they've done, and they just hammered their opponent. Gets in front of it. Turns it to the crease. And another save. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. The Canucks played along the boards. Wrist went in front. And then Cairns right off the mask. Well, that wrister had some heat, James, but he was able to get in front of it and turn it aside. Here he is on the backhand. Oh, what a stop with the stick by Sorokin. The Canucks gain control of the puck against the wall. Handles the pass. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Here's a chance. What a block as he lays out in front of it. They put the puck into the offensive end. Moves it quickly over to Hedman. Gains the zone from the right. Shot. That's not going to fool him. Picked up along the wall by Nylander. Turned aside with the glove by Sorokin. Man, is he ever quick on his feet, anticipating the play. Excellent reflexes. He's saving his team right now. Good heads-up play with the bank pass. Here's a shot. Oh, what a save on the play. Wow. Oh, that's grand larceny, James. I mean, he just stole one away from his opponent. What a save. Along the right wing, they enter the attacking area. Pass back to the point. Tremendous sacrifice laying out to block it. Here's an odd man rush. A chance in front. Oh, he saved it. Oh, my goodness, what a stick. He scores. What a ball. It always amazes me, James, to see how quickly these shooters can get the puck off of their stick. I mean, they can shoot off their inside leg, their outside leg. It doesn't matter. But what does matter, the positioning from that slot here. Montreal's playing almost like they want a day off here tomorrow, Cheryl. Yeah, I'd say so, and you always look forward to a day off, and this coaching staff has got to be impressed with this team tonight. You know, the ability to get the puck to net, driving the pace of play, and just having really great habits, consistent effort right through the game. And a quick save on that one. Here's a chance. Denies him again. That's a great save, but the goaltender had to get out to the top of his crease, take away all the ice and make them... Oh, a spectacular save right there! Wow. Unbelievable! I mean, it was all but in, and he steals it because of that last-ditch attempt to find the puck. Just incredible save, James. McDavid's called for trip, and he's off to the box. Cannot send their man advantage unit out once more. Power play that really hasn't been great tonight, James. You always expect, or the fans do, the coaches, the staff, always look at it about an opportunity, but the reality is you're never at 100%. Oh, that one comes up short as he just gets enough of that one. McDavid set the face-off dot, ready to win this draw on the man advantage. Montreal's gonna start with the puck inside the offensive zone. Solid hit on that play. Here's a short pass to McDavid. Along the right side into the offensive zone. Takes a shot. Oh my goodness, it stayed out, what a save. It was all but in James, and that athleticism and the will to get to that puck, that was on display. Sends it over to Matthews. And that's intercepted by McDavid. Just got enough of that to keep it out. He's the emotional leader of this team, and he typically scores in this type of situation, but the goaltender shuts the door, and that's key because he's an emotional leader, and you knew if he scored, he was going to generate a ton of energy for his team. Suzuki's ready to take the draw here on this power play. 
The Canucks win it. Puck picked up by the Rock. Here's a shot. And he comes up with the glove save. Kucherov's side still shorthanded here as they slide in for the faceoff. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. He's got a step. Oh, what a fantastic save there. Oh, he's got such quick hands, but he's in tight. And when you move them fast, you don't force them to move. And the goaltender is able to read it, track it, and make the save. Montreal's offense has not been a problem tonight. They put a lot of shots on net and laid it big time late in this third period. Play resumes as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Goaltender covers up. We got a stoppage of play. Montreal's been putting lots of pucks on net all night long, and they continue to lead late in this third period. The Canadians win the faceoff. And they stopped it! What a save on the play! And there's nothing technical about that. That is all about the will to find a way to make that save. Incredible, James. Both teams are set. They're ready to drop the puck. Montreal's won the faceoff. And that goes off a body. and could have lost it, but manages to stay with it enough to get a shot off. Kucherov's got it along the boards. Shot! Scores! And look who's at it again! Well, it's the second of the game. Too bad you can't bottle these games up and just recall them whenever you want because he's been all around the net. That's a hard shot. The goaltender looks like he's just getting to position, gets a piece of it, but it still goes in. Canadians continue to attack the net here in period number three, adding yet another goal to their score. Well, it's been all areas of the game that have really been terrific tonight, James. I've also enjoyed the communication that we're seeing on the ice, not just the body language, but also the vocalness. I mean, they're creating all over the ice, and it's been real fun to watch. Montreal's manufactured plenty of offense tonight, and they lead here late in this third period. McDavid's got the puck, and they'll go on the attack. And he shut the door on that last play. Great read in the offensive zone by McDavid. My goodness, this has been a pressure-filled shift here. Carrying it, carrying it. Short and scores! The captain comes through! Shot from traffic, James. The recognition of the net front presence in screen, and the goalie drops to the butterfly position. Really tries to make himself as big as possible, hoping that the puck just hits him because he can't see it. The Canadians have been a lot of fun to watch tonight. Lots of offensive scoring chances, and they have capitalized late here in this third. Quick feed to Nylander. There's the whistle as the puck is frozen up. Officials have got both teams ready, and it looks like play is set to resume here. Can they take advantage after winning that draw? Final seconds of this one, and the home fans certainly appreciate that they got their money's worth tonight. Here's a shot. Oh, it stays out. He got a piece of that one. But they came to play today. It was impressive out there. So impressive, and they really came to play, James. Most impressive to me was that they played in all three zones. They had the offense. They were hard in their own zone, and they got great goaltending.
And here they come back out to salute the fans. Well, this is a great feeling. I remember doing this when I was an athlete. You come back on the ice to salute the fans for cheering you on throughout the game. Just a fun night all way round. Ain't no party like a victory party. Fun night at the rink and for all of us here in the EA Sports team, I'm James Cebulski. Good night.